What are you looking at? Yeah, you. What's with the staring? Beat up? Nah, I'm not beat up. But a gawking idiot three seats down from me is about to be. Yeah, that's you, genius. Congratulations on counting to three without hurting yourself. As you should be. Sorry, Skippy. You don't know what I've been through. No, I don't particularly feel like sharing. If I did, I'd write a thread on the weave. Hmm. Maybe you're just ignorant and not a fool. Look, you see this drink in my hand? Ariadne's Tears. Heard of it? Thought not. You look like a milk drinker. Allow me to educate you. This is no mercury blast or cobalt velvet. This isn't something you drink to have a good time. You drink Ariadne's Tears when you need your mind to just shut up and to stay shut up for a good long time. Rumor has it, this will give a servo bot a buzz. It'll do more than enough for me. Now, don't sit down there. Let me tell you, it is not in your best interests to... Oh, well, I don't suppose I would turn down another one. But don't think this makes me like you. You definitely don't think this will make me talk about it. Oh, give it a rest. I just want to drink this poison in peace, and hopefully it'll do enough damage that I don't remember we ever met. That's nothing against you, even with the annoying questions. I just need to forget, okay? What? You never had a day or days that you would rather not be able to relive. Good. Now let it go. Thank you for the second round, but I'm not feeling sociable tonight. Shoo. Look, Skippy, I've got nothing against you. Yet. Let's keep it that way. And just why do you want to know my name? No, you're not being courteous. You're being nosy. And I'm getting annoyed. Look, who told you to find me here? Oh, that puss boil. Great. No, I'm not annoyed at one nagging bar patron. I'm annoyed at one nagging bar patron and my old contact. <laughs> really? Uh oh, I knew you really were an idiot. Congratulations, Skippy. You just entered the running for next year's Darwin Awards. Hey, let me lay it out for you. You accepted a contract for mild contact at Dark Halo. Those are three nouns you don't want ever to be in the same sentence. You, contract, and Dark Halo. I learned that the hard way. What happens when those words align? like ancient superstitions about astrological portents. Whoa, mayhem, suffering. You get it? Ah, it's getting to me. You get screwed, Skippy, and screwed bad. Those people working there aren't human. Whatever secrets they work on in those labs suck the humanity right out of them. You aren't an agent working for them. Peace on the board of a game you couldn't understand, let alone play, let alone even see. <laughs> but it can be that bad. Oh, Skippy, if you only knew. And you won't know, because I'm not going to tell you. Take that into consideration. It's bad enough that I won't share it. I just want to forget it. Need. Hmm? No, this is only round two. It'll take a lot more to get me where I need to be, but it's a good start. Hey, what? Hmm? Another one. Thanks, stranger. You ask too many questions, but I won't deny. 
I appreciate the drinks. These aren't cheap. And my cred chain is shorter than it was a week ago. Nope, still not spilling. <laughs> spilling. Nope, not happening. Because I'm trying to forget it, Skippy. Didn't you hear me? Nah, Skippy suits you better. But, does. Have some free advice. Tear up that contract. Walk away. Even if you pulled it off, which you won't, it isn't worth it. You know what Dark Halo is, right? No, they aren't like Rastars are in D Division. Well, technically, yes, but that doesn't cover it. They're inhuman. The stuff they get up to trying? It's... Evil's not the right word. They don't mastermind stupid plans to dominate Earth. They aren't angry at the world and out for revenge. They just... they're... empty. Life doesn't mean anything to them. Pain is just some weird biological phenomenon. They want to know whatever they want to know, and they don't care how they find out. Put it this way, Dark Halo would slit newborns' throats just to graph how the pressure of the blood spatter would fall as they bled to death. They'd zap your brains with higher and higher currents for no reason other than to see how much current they could get before you die of it. Humanity isn't human to them. It's just a bunch of test subjects. Because I did a job for them before, okay? That's how I know what they are. We're back to that. No. I. Want. To. For. Get. You aren't helping. Round four might be considered helping, I guess. Thanks. I told you what's important. Walking away. You don't need to know anything else. Wait, what job are they asking you to... Nope, nope. Don't engage, don't engage. I'm out. <laughs> I knew it. I knew they couldn't leave it alone. And, uh, oh, by that I mean I'm not saying anything. Forgetfulness, here I come. Eh, Skippy, why... Uh, why are there two of you now? Uh, okay. Strong drink. Good. Maybe I'm almost there. You know, at first I didn't really like you. But you do buy a good drink. Good brink? Dude brink? Brood dink. No, 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 no. Good drink. Yes. You buy a good drink. Elocution is important. Yeah, I'm getting there. I wish I had an injector on me. That would top me off just perfectly. But nah, don't do those. What on earth is it worth it? <clears throat> okay, fine. You know what? I like your persistence. Per sisters. Sisters. Seltzers. You're, you don't give up. <laughs> And I can respect that, Skipper. Skippy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. The tears, yeah, they'll make me forget just fine. And right now, I'm feeling okay. You know what? You earned it. Hit me up, stranger. Ask away. Yeah, that's me, all right. I'm a reclaimer. It's like a claimer, but you do it again. Get it. Uh, let me just collect myself here a second. All right. Me and a dozen other reclaimers hot guyed no, got hired by that dark halo. Hey, I told you they're bad business, right? Okay, okay, good. Just wanted to make that clear. We 13 reclaimers got hired by them. We were going down to that planet. The one with the planet. Yeah, that one. Planet number two. 
two, the one after uh, Mercury. <laughs> yeah, just hit number two. Yeah, the one that's named after the one goddess or someone. Our job was to drop down onto the surface and grab a black box from a probe they sent that had crashed. It was pretty old, from back in 2224, but they decided they bonded it whack. 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 Nailed it. Anyway, seemed pretty face forward. We ride down on the shuttles and load up the package. Easy as pie. Ooh, pie. Mm. I'm hungry. But it wasn't strafe toursward. Not at all. See, Dark Halo is a bunch of manipulative, scheming rats. They gave us a bunch of equipment to keep us all safe down there on that planet. Planet number two, right? We had to have the special suits and stuff because it's stupid dangerous down there. Stupid hot, stupid gassy, stupid pressure-y, high pressure. It's dense down there on Venus. Ah, Venus, yeah, that's the planet's name. Oh, round five. Ah, thanks. We got down there, riding down in the Dark Halo shuttles and the Dark Halo suits. They were pretty cool, honestly. Looked like some kind of bipedal lizards with fish tanks on our backs. No fish, though. That would just be silly. Fish tanks on Venus. Planet number two. We found the probe's wreckage. Talk about getting wrecked, am I right? Whiskey, one of the other uh, Krillamers, coordinated, corded, corded, what was I? Coordinate. He was telling everybody uh, where to go and what to do. See, it's just a dinky little probe. But relative to you and me, dinky little probes aren't so dinky little. We needed a bunch of equipment to get where we needed, to get where we needed, to get where we needed to, to get. A couple of cranes, some haulers, and a bunch of us with some uh, specialized torch cutters. Kingpin got the goods out and we packed her all up. Started to load up the shuttles. Let's see. Then things went share paped. The shuttles wouldn't start. They sat there, all nice and gleaming in the stupid number two atmosphere. But they wouldn't go up. Nope. Like expensive rocks just sitting there. Sitting. <laughs> We tried to contact uh, Mordecai, the guy up in orbit, who stayed up there uh, in orbit, so we didn't have to. He didn't know what was going on. They went back and forth a few times, yelling at each other, but when they stopped yammering, the, uh, the gist was that we were stuck down there. Mordecai was putting the call out for some help and telling us it shouldn't be too long, just a day or two. Well, great. There we are. Stuck on Venus with no place to go. Yeah. We had rations and backup supplies and some air recyclers that would last us a couple of weeks, so no problems there. So we thought. Day one goes by. We hunker down in the shuttles and sleep as best we can. It's an inconvenience, but Frankfurter... No, that's not it. Frankenstein. Frankenberry. Frank. Frank. What was that saying? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, sleeping in the shuttle. Annoying, but the break was kind of nice, truth be told. That word's gonna bother me now. Day two. Earth day two, that is. Uh, Venus has much longer days. We were on the shady side of the planet, thankfully, so we weren't just going to cook. Easier on the cooling systems, you understand. We pull up Mordecai and ask for an update on our pickup. They get into another shouting match, which we ignored. Different theories as to why Whiskey and Mordecai hated each other's guts. Half of us said they were probably brothers and didn't know it. The other half figured they were hot for each other and wouldn't admit it. Either way, old news. Much the same as last time they were yelling at each other. 
another day or so. We kicked back, found our comfort as best we could, which wasn't much. Stupid shells. My back Phil steals. Wrong. Nope, that's wrong. I still heard from it. I'll go with that. We were ready to wait for day two to be done. Now at that point, we were ready to... Huh? Oh, sorry, I thought I just saw... Oh, never mind. Ducks. Oof, weird. So Mordecai and Whiskey may or may not have been either... Oh, you heard that already, right. Apologies. This forgetfulness process has complication for Aspiron storytellers. Aspiron. Something about snakes. Yeah. Two days wasn't bad down there. We were stiff and sore, as you can imagine. But stuff happens, you know. That's what the two weeks' worth of emergency supplies were for. Two days down, we still had twelve days left of food and even more air. Well, there was technically air on the planet, but you don't want to go breathing that stuff. Way too much carbon dioxide, with guest appearances of uh, less savory substances. And considering that CO2 isn't exactly fried cheese curds to begin with, that's saying something. So don't go out of your suits, don't breathe the atmosphere. For a day or two, no problems. We weren't there for two days. We were there for 23 days. Math isn't my best wardrobe. No, not that. It isn't my pressed linens. No, not that either. It isn't. It ain't. Uh, I'm not great at it. Maybe you're better. But it doesn't take a professor of the thing to see that 23 days is more than two weeks. By day seven, we were scared. Mordecai and Whiskey weren't shouting at each other anymore. They were quiet. They're never quiet. Whiskey looked hollow. Every time they got off the communicator radar thing, he just, he was rattled. We all saw that. Day nine, we had five days from the left. No sign of anyone coming. Mordecai had more in orbit, but all the shuttles were down on the surface and they wouldn't so much as burp. But they wouldn't move muscle. Okay, if they had any, they wouldn't move. Happy Skippy. We weren't. We started rationing half rations. Day 16. Three days of half rations left. That was when the first one died. Hawk wasn't the most stable infidel you ever met, mind you, but we never pegged her for suicide. And not like that. She took a suit, went out into the surface, and popped her top. We didn't know what was happening until it was too late. She fell over, her sensors were perplazzle, <laughs> and then her vitals nosedived. We couldn't get her back inside in time. She left a recorded message in her personal file, said it was better to go quickly than wait out that nonsense. Three days rations left, but we didn't eat that night. Nerves just became available, so a little more to go around. Day 18, we had three shuttles total, full of the uh, escapade sham equipment. Sham? Sham. Escapex uh, reclaimer stuff. We also lived in the shuttles. About midday on day 18, one of the shuttles depressurized. Atmosphere leaked in. We lost two more reclaimers. The others got their suits on in time, thankfully. Didn't eat again that night, but even more food to go around. Day 19. Three suicides. Whiskey was one of them. One of them pulled a hawk. The other two, uh, they... Man, I don't want to think about this one, please. Well, give me another drink, then. I'm feeling less forgetful. 
in that shuttle. I saw what they did. First to find them. They weren't wearing suits being inside, so we didn't know. They lay down under one of the haulers in the bays and remotely started it. They... They got squished. <laughs> squished. Sounds funny to say, isn't it? Squished. Humans are squishy. Just move several thousand pounds on top of us and apply horticultural motion. Squishy. Smeary. Smelly goodness. Mmm. Man, this drink is good. Oh, yeah. Let's see. How many are we down to? Thirteen to start. We lost Hawk. Tossed the two when the one exploded. Three more. Seven. We got seven left, not counting Mordecai. After Whiskey passed, Mordecai, he stopped. We tried calling him, but no answer. Tried calling anyone. No answer. Day, what is it? 19 plus three. Carry the one. Stupid math. 34. Nah, that's not. 22, thanks, friend. Day 22. The seven of us left moved into one shuttle. Save the air in the other one that way. Smart, we thought. Actually, stupid. Yeah, that. Seven of us in a shuttle designed for four or five at most. Tensions too high, food mostly gone. There was a fight brawl, more like. It started over something so stupid. The temperature. Puma wanted to drop the temperature by 0.1 degrees. We had the power for it, but Bison wasn't having it. They started shouting, and I joined in for Puma with Felix, and the one chick whose name I can never remember, Demeter, or Diabla, Debbie, something like that. The other three joined Bison, just wanting us to be quiet. Bison threw first, but Puma caught a mid-punch. She was a uh, marital artist, Juju Jiu-Jitsu, I think. Yeah, definitely. She pinned him just fine. Then she started hurting him, punching, bending. We told her to stop, but... She'd stopped listening. Something snapped. Loud noises don't bother me, understand. But that snap was not right. Something else snapped a second later, and Bison stopped screaming. Mm, do Puma eat Bison? No, I mean the animals. Yeah, they're code names, but I just wondered, because... Bison are, or were, pretty freaking big. Pumas are nasty. Once Puma killed Bison, we lost it. His three jumped on her, and they tussled. The Debbie Dolores Diabolista, what's her name, punched me for no reason I can recall. So we started to headbutt. But heads. Hey, that one works both ways. Well, Bear, we scuffled around. When I fell and blacked out, woke up later, found all the others dead in a heap. Puma killed Bison, then took two of the other three out similarly. But the fourth one must have taken a torch to her because she was all cooked and burned and cooked and burned and cooked and burned and like a badly cooked steak or pork. That's more what it smelled like. And that one and the Daphne diorama whose her face wrestled since she thought I was dead and I think they knifed each other, I think. And there were knives in each of them, utility type, but I can't be sure. I was blacked out, right? Oh, when I finally whited up, yeah, opposite of blacked out. What? 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 
when I finally, yeah, saw the bodies. It was day 23, and I heard a message coming in. It was Mordecai. Said that he only read my sensor is still on, none of the others. Told him what happened, about the bodies and the suicides and everything. Then, weirdest thing, everything started working again. The shuttles came all the way back on. I put my suit on and walked to the empty shuttle. Didn't like, didn't like that smell. Empty shuttle was on too, and I piloted it out of there, up to orbit. Up, 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 up. orbit. Talked to Mordecai once I docked. We got out of there. By luck, my shuttle was the one with the black box. Yeah, remember that little thing? Back to Earth orbit. Orbit. We give Dark Halo the goods. They pay us. And they threaten to kill us if we say anything to anyone. Ever. So yeah, friend. Now you know. And you know why I wanted to forget about it. Can't be... Can't be too... Can't be... Can't be... Mm. Can't be too careful about this stuff. I gotta keep this bottled up. Because if I tell anyone about them, about how they play with lives like they're mice in a maze, or rats in a maze, or anything in a maze, they'll not take particularly generously to my indiscretions. Indiscretion? Singular? Plural? Hey, I got the words out, so I'm calling that one a viceroy. No, a victrocious. Picture anger. It's a win. Now I just need to keep drinking this until I don't remember a thing. Something. Getting there. Did some research on a ready stairs. This drink. Yeah. Tears. No, I. I didn't say stairs. Get your rear stacked. Maroon. Anyway. There's a point where, when you just get enough, you don't remember, remember, something. Don't remember something. I think, yeah, I'm getting there. Needed to not remember, forget, and not tell anyone. Good. Uh, now you know not to tell anyone, too tell anyone about the things I can't remember. It's for your own good, Skippy. Pipsky. Is that Russian? Nah, French. Nah, Punjabi. Nah. Guinness? Greenwich? Guatemala? It's from somewhere. Maybe a drink. <laughs> maybe a drink will help. Just maybe. 